Hi friends, Krista here. Thanks for stopping by Books and Jams. I have a very fun unboxing and tasting for you today. I was so thankful to be contacted by Try Treats again to share another box with you and let you know about this amazing subscription foodie box. This is not quite bookish related today, but I don't even care. <laughs> I had so much fun with the last box that I tried treats from and I'm very excited to see what country we're going to get and to try some things with you today. I'm feeling adventurous. It's the afternoon. I'm ready for a snack. Let's see what we've got in the box. If you missed my, the last time I did this, Try Treats is a subscription service that you can get a box of treats from different countries around the world and just try them. It's a lot of fun. I will have a code for you, Books and Jams, that gets you 15% off your first box. And I have a link down below which you can click on to check out Try Treats and see what they've got in store for you. Explore the world through food, it says on here. And I love this color. Clearly, it's on my nails. It's basically my shirt. I love it. Okay, let's see where we're going today. Does anyone know what that flag is? Red and white? I don't know what that is. But I have a feeling these cards that just came out are going to tell me, welcome to Indonesia. We're going to try treats from Indonesia today. Woohoo! Located in Southeast Asia, Indonesia is an ancient island composed of 13,677 islands, which makes it the world's largest archipelago. And with population 260 million people, it's the fourth largest country in the world. Country filled with culture and history, famous for its breathtaking beaches and temples gorgeous. As you explore your box, you will find some of the most popular and interesting treats from Indonesia. Okay, then it starts describing some of the things and I don't want to know. So we're going to Indonesia today. Oh, I'm so excited. I've not been to Indonesia. The closest is Thailand, which maybe some of the treats are similar also in Southeast Asia. And my brother who used to live in Turkey just moved to the Philippines, which is also relatively close to Indonesia. So then there's an explore Indonesia card. There's some facts about the country, some trivia, and then a recipe card for Indonesian fried rice, nasi goreng. It's been called the national dish of Indonesia. It has white rice, water, eggs, vegetable oil, and onion, a leek, and garlic. Actually, that sounds pretty amazing. <laughs> so love that. And then the one that fell out, I'm just going to start with this one since it's here. This is wafer rolls chocolate. That looks delicious by Dolcetto. Amazing with coffee, tea, or milk. I don't have any of those things here with me. I probably should have done it this way. There we go. Okay, so there are three. They look like this. I've had something similar to these before. Lightly filled on the inside. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little bit of like creamy chocolate on the inside. Mm. That's good. I will eat those for sure. Very chocolatey. All right, let's see what else is in this box. I just want to show you. <laughs> Besides the one that I just tried already, there's a card that gives you a description of everything which I'm gonna flip over. Oh, and you can rate the, that's fun. You can rate the treats. I don't wanna look too closely. That's everything in this box and you can label it best, worst, and weirdest. <laughs> but look how many things are in here, friends. I can't tip it too far because it starts to fall out, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's like 10 or 12 things in here. I'm excited. Okay, so I tried those wafers. Let's try this choco. Choco Marie, Belgian chocolate flavor. <laughs> Ants, please. Anything chocolate flavor, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like. Unless it's like pure cocoa, which I'm sure this is not. It's a biscuit, as they say in the UK and other places. So this is a little biscuit. There's cookie, cookie on the one side and then chocolate on the other. I'm gonna go get some water and a paper towel. Cause if there's anything else that's chocolate, it might get melty cause it's so hot today. Okay, I'm back. I've got a paper towel for my fingers. I got some water and I'm ready to try some more. Let's do something that's not chocolatey. These are Gary or Jerry cheese crackers. Sweet cheese. 
it says it's the flavor sweet cheese. I don't know how I feel about sweet cheese, but I do like cheese. Salty snacks are good, just like chocolatey snacks are. I'm not particular. Okay. I'm having trouble opening all of these today. Oh, they're big. They're rather large. I was, I didn't feel it to see if they were like cheese it size. Nope, they're not. They're like big crackers. So there's a cracker on the bottom and then it has this cheese layer, almost like frosting. So it looks like there's crystals on here. Okay, it is sweet cheese. There, I think some of these crystals are sugar, but I think some are also salt. So if you're someone who likes salty and sweet together, I'm not bad. The cheese is like in those cheesy cracker kids snack. That's interesting. I kind of like it. I don't want to keep going because I have lots more to try. I kind of like it. I'm not sure though. I'm not sure. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I'll finish it. It's not bad at all. It's an interesting combo. Sweet cheese. Who knew? Yes, I will have these little wafer bites. So this I feel like is gonna be pretty similar to the wafer rolls, except it's gonna be bites. Contains only 100 calories per pack. Chocolate wafer bites, Dolcetto Petites. It's the same brand, Dolcetto. But these ones are just the littles. I'm learning. Look at that, that was much easier. So these are little, just a little tiny wafer. Mmm flaky with that creamy chocolate in the middle. That's delicious. Rich chocolate filling, delicate, crisp, flaky outer shell. It describes it exactly on the outside. The outer shell is pretty delicate. I want another one. Mmm, that was good. Okay. <laughs> so far, nothing out of the ordinary, but there's more to discover in here. I'm going to go ahead with this one, Tic Tac. Guys, do you see that flavor? Grilled beef flavor. Grilled beef. Cassava snack. Mac, Macanan. Mm, I don't know, Tic Tac. Grilled beef flavor. <laughs> Grilled beef, what, like a hamburger or steak? I like hamburger and I like steak. Do I like it in a snack? I don't know. I guess we're going to find out. Tic Tac. All right, let's see. They look just, let's say, so see all these little, it looks like little, little balls, little circles. Do I try just one or do I try a handful of them? Is it going to be puffy like a cheese puff? Oh, it, <laughs> it's stinky. It's it's like, it's not as puffy as a cheese puff. It's like a cereal. It's the texture of like a little cereal. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't, maybe if I was hungry for dinner, but after that delicious chocolate to go to something like this, and now it's like salty on my lips. No, grilled beef. <laughs> That's an interesting one. There's a ton in here. Like the bag is filled. The bag is filled up to here. That is filled with those little teeny tiny circle things. Oh my goodness. And okay, three servings per container. So you're not supposed to eat all this at once. That's good to know. And 150 calories per serving. I mean, I guess if you're really hungry, I don't know about that. Grilled beef. I just ate a snack that had grilled beef flavor. <laughs> and I had two of them. I don't think I'm going to eat any more of those ones. Okay, this is one that I don't know what those words say. So it's momogi, momoji, momogi, jagung, bakar. <laughs> four sticks. I could tell that that says four, four sticks. It looks kind of cheesy. 
<laughs> should I look it up or should I, I'm just going to go for it. And then we'll look up what it is afterwards. So it looks like this, just like it's pictured here. Like this is puffy. I can tell it feels like a Cheeto. So like puffed air in there, maybe cheesy, but there's some herbs. <laughs> there's an herb on there of some sort. Oh, it smells sweet though. <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> now I took a big bite. Okay, what is that? No. It's another combo. Sweet a tiny bit. Corn. Roasted corn barbecue. Okay, I, I can get the corn. Definitely get the corn. And maybe now that I know that. Okay, now it's not as bad. No, I'm not a fan though. <laughs> I think not knowing was worse. Corn stick, roasted corn barbecue by Momoji are crunchy and savory roasted corn sticks with just the right mix of flavor and crunch that you need. Buttered roasted corn in an airy snack stick that melts in your mouth. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> and now that I know it's corn, I'm like, yeah, of course, that's corn flavor. I don't know that I would have pulled that out. I don't have a very, I don't know, I don't have a very strong palate to like just dis dis discern between flavors and stuff. It was corn. <laughs> that was definitely corn. Okay, but I don't want to keep looking. Let's try these. Oh man, cassava crackers. All of the description in the back is not in English. Indonesian is the Indonesian. I feel like in Indonesia they have more than one language. I don't know what that is. It's not a potato. Is it a turnip? A cassava? Maybe it's a cassava. Is cassava potato? Are these just chips? No cholesterol, no trans fat, and gluten-free. Hot and spicy. Oh no. Hot and spicy. Ah! <laughs> oh, I'm nervous. Okay, I feel like it's kind of chips. I feel like it's a kind of chip. Cassava. Is that a chip? <laughs> okay, that's not working. Oh, it's almost working though. Keep going. It's a very strong bag. Okay, there we go. Got it. I'm very strong. Oh, I can see the spice. There, they have the red on them. Okay. I feel like it's just gonna be like a potato chip. The texture is nice, very crunchy. It is like, ooh, the heat comes later. I kind of like it though. Almost like a barbecue, but like a hot, spicy barbecue. <coughs> oh yeah, that's hot. I love it though. <laughs> Honestly, I would eat this. I don't think I could eat the whole bag because I think I'm starting to tear up already. The flavor of it though is really good. It's like a spicy barbecue. Oh, it's delicious. I really like it, but I can feel that heat. Mmm, that was a good one, <laughs> but it's a spicy. All right. Oh, I like that. That's a spicy. There's a ton in there too, which is good. How many? Two servings per container. Okay, good to know. And I could never eat all of those at once anyway, but I'll finish them because that was delicious, but it was really spicy. Let's, let's move to something. M move to something else. Okay. Ooh, more chocolate. Let's move back to chocolate. Mandy's dark chocolate cookie thins. That looks good. Old fashioned Mandy's confections. Crisp cookie thins with a sprinkle of sugar and dark chocolate. I love dark chocolate. Let's see what these look like. Yay, Indonesia. I like your snacks. Yeah, so it's just a dark little cookie. It looks like a Ritz cracker size with a sprinkle, I don't know if you can see the sprinkle, the sparkly sprinkle on there of sugar, sprinkle of sugar. That's gonna be good. I still have the heat from the cassava cracker, but the dark chocolate is delicious. Mm. That's very good. 
That's very, very good. Mmm. Yum, yum. I have two left. Well, two, but there's a whole bunch. There's a whole bunch of these ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these. Milkita, a milky, creamy vanilla candy. That looks good. Is it a hard candy? I don't know. Maybe I should save this one for last. If it's a hard candy, I'll just taste it and then discreetly take it out of my mouth. Or is it like a, a chewy? It's not chewy. It's not squishy at all. It's a hard candy. Oh, it's a little chewy. Oh yeah, I can chew it. But I'm not going to chew it right now. Okay, I took that out so I could tell you about it. It is very vanilla. It's a little bit chewy, but kind of like a hard candy. Like it'll last for a long time. It's not as chewy as a Tootsie Roll. Or like an airhead <laughs> if you know those it's not quite as chewy as a gummy candy or anything it's a little bit harder than that but it has a nice very uh, it has a very nice vanilla flavor very sweet i like those i like those and the last one for today is is <laughs> not i'm not a coffee drinker and this is copico coffee candy there are a bunch of them in here let's see if they're individually wrapped or all in a row. Okay, they are individually wrapped, like a Rolo. <laughs> but I think these are also kind of a hard candy. They don't feel squishy at all. We'll see how strong the coffee flavor is. I just, um, I do like some coffee ice cream, but not to drink. I don't like coffee. So it's a little dark. Oh, it's hard to see. It's a little dark piece of candy. Oh, I can smell the coffee. It's very coffee. Oh, it's very coffee. Oh, and it's a hard candy. I just crunched it. So it's not at all chewy. I got to get that out of my mouth. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Spit that one out as well. It's not at all chewy like the vanilla one was. Definitely uh, more like a hard candy. Coffee flavored hard candy. I wonder if there's caffeine in it. It does have ingredients. Natural coffee flavor. I don't know. But for those of you who need a coffee fix, maybe that would be a good choice. <laughs> Copico. Uh, so yeah, let's see if I can, let's see if I can rate these from least to best. Okay, so my least favorite by far were these grilled beef flavors. That's so strange to me. Second worst, I guess, hmm, I, I'm going to say the coffee just because I really don't care for coffee. And then these corn puff things, I didn't really care for those. Then let's say maybe these cheesy cheesy sweet crackers would be next and then these vanilla creams they're fine and then oh then I'm gonna do all the chocolate then I'm gonna do these although I did really like these they're just really spicy but I think I'm gonna put all the chocolate stuff on the top so we'll put say these chips and then which one's next maybe these ones with the chocolate on the other side I have four left three left so we'll do third place, the dark chocolate biscuit cookie, second place, the wafers, and then the first, my favorite thing, easily in this box, were these little mini wafer bites. Those were delicious and flaky and oh, so good. Oh, so good. I really enjoyed trying all those treats. I wanted to try to pair the box with a book from whatever country that I was trying snacks from. But I looked up a couple different sites and don't recognize any of the books that are set in Indonesia. I didn't, none of them were familiar to me at all to even recommend to you. Eat, Pray, Love is the only one that showed up that I saw. And I, that's not an unfamiliar book. If you've wanted to read that one, you probably already have. I have no desire to read it. I saw the movie and that was enough for me. But I still really loved trying all of these treats that were, came in the box this time around. I heard from a couple of you who homeschool that you're going to try a box or two from Try Treats as part of your homeschool curriculum. I think that's such a fun idea. It will make a really fun gift for someone, for any of your friends or for you or family members who love to travel. It might be kind of a fun treat. Go ahead and check out their website. There are specific boxes on there from from countries that, that they've already done in the past that you can pick a specific country or sign up for their subscription. 
and get a box sent to you every month. There are options. It's so fun. Thank you so much to Try Treats once again for sending me this box. I hope that you guys check it out. I hope that you had fun watching me be brave and try some treats. Actually, this box was really good. Other than those three that I didn't really care for, I'm going to eat all the rest of them. <laughs> so I'm really excited about that. And I just love sharing something a little bit different with you today. I hope that you enjoyed this. Let's chat down in the comments. Have you been to Indonesia? Did any of these snacks look good to you? Do you, th do you know of any other books that take place in Indonesia? I would love to know if you do, because... I would love to read from a lot of different countries around the world. And if I could find a book that one of you guys loved that's from Indonesia, I'm interested in checking it out. So let's chat in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and spending time with me today. And I look forward to talking with you in another video very soon. Bye.